Welcome to Girls Only School. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry, I'm late. Hey, yo. Growing up, my little sister always copied everything I did. Today, I'm giving her a taste of her own medicine by competing in a series of ladylike challenges in her girls-only school. Will I be able to blend right in, or will she sniff out the raging testosterone? The first challenge, poise. Women are always taking on the weight of the world and while wearing heels. So let's see how much poise each of these ladies have. OK, my strategy is going to be to shuffle. Do okay. the slip back. <laughs> Feels like something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> What's going on out there? You did it! Oh, 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 oh. oh. Chloe! Yeah. Dude, <laughs> Yay! You're nice looking good, you. Brianna. Oh. 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 What was that? That was so loud. This oh, oh Brianna. Oh. oh, am I eliminated? <laughs> and take your blindfold up. Believe in yourself. Yeah. That's oh. good, right? Oh, oh. oh. okay, okay. <gasps> What are you doing out there? Yeah. That was so close. Look at these moves. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> if you go forward, it's going to be a little That's that. right. Just push it. I don't need directions from any of y'all. Am I going to pick it up? Of course oh, I'll no. pick it up. I got to get some nice. bonus brownie points somehow. Yes! Uh! Here is the aftermath from number two. Lots of broken damage. I'm going to slide number two up to the sus category. So number four started off pretty good, but by the end, they ended up dropping a book and breaking this beautiful vase. So I'm gonna say number four might be Preston. So number six bit over got it and put it on her head. I'm having a feeling that that's definitely not Preston. Number two, please come to the principal's office. That was so anticlimactic. Come in, number two. No, Kelly! <laughs> I've decided to give each of these students a rating for poise class. One, three, and six, they all get an A. Number four gets a C, five gets a C minus. Students, welcome to whole neck class. For this challenge, you have 30 seconds to try to change a diaper on a baby doll while being hooked up to a birthing simulator. Women are superheroes. They do a lot of things under pain and pressure. So let's see how you guys can handle it. Okay. Oh, I feel oh. pretty confident. Oh, oh my God. God. Breathe. <laughs> done, done. What? There we go, Chloe. You're so strong. The reason I'm putting all of these students through all these rigorous classes is because if I can sniff out which one Preston is, then he has to clean the boys' bathroom. And if I can't find him, then I have to. Okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Oh. Hi, Delilah. Wait, what's the front and what's the back? Oh, it says front. That's helpful. Can you please be more careful? Ever. <laughs> Don't pick it up by its hand. Its arm is going to come out. OK, you've got experience. Show it to us. She's going to do the best out of any I'm of scared. you got to wrap the diaper. <laughs> this is the beauty of childbirth. Okay. Stop the there landing. Go. Unfold the old diaper. It's OK. It's OK. Uh, We're going to take this diaper off of you just like this. <laughs> I feel like I'm being exercised. We're gonna put the front one on top. These are some advanced diapers. I did it! Oh. I didn't do it! Okay, I have pictures of every contestant's diaper. Number one actually did pretty decent with the diaper, but they only got to level three. So I'm gonna put them in the maybe category. Okay, number three did a terrible job with the diaper. I'm gonna put this as a maybe. Okay, so number four dropped the baby. That's definitely a press and move. Number five took the time to fold the diaper. Six also apparently folded the diaper and was very gentle. Okay, so here's where we're ranking at. Number one, I'm gonna give you a B. Number three, you're getting a C. Number five and six, you're getting an A. And number four, you're getting an F and you're getting expelled. Number four, come to the principal's oh, office, please. No. <gasps> Ouch! Three! <laughs> Is it because I dropped the baby? It's because you dropped the baby. They're slippery. Get out of here. <laughs> Okay, we have to figure out who Preston is. I gotta stop eliminating these girls. <laughs> Welcome to makeup class. You all have five minutes to give this mannequin a makeover. Now, this should be really easy to figure out which one Preston is, because obviously he doesn't know how to do makeup. Wait, Preston, are you wearing makeup? Oh, Eyeshadow. So we cannot let Pristina beat us in this. How do you get the lips to get in there? This is a little scary. We don't have glue. Oh, oh they these, do. These are, these are false super eyelashes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 40 ooh. seconds. This ha what? Oh, what? what? What goes good with red? Blue. She's ready for a night out. Who's got the blush? I'm huh? not telling. You can, you can use look, the, whatever one you think it is. Those boobs are on me. No, they're not. They're on my stomach. My mannequin is just not turning out the way I wanted to. She looks like a snake. Five. Five. Oh, 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 four, oh, okay. Three. Two, one. Okay, here we have all of my students' mannequins and their makeup jobs. 
Number one did pretty good. I really like how they applied the blush high. They even did contour on the side of the nose, which Preston would not know to do contour on the side of the nose. Number three, their eyeshadow and their lipstick looks good, but they didn't really add much else. Maybe Preston. Number, whoa, she's cute. She's giving 1920s, but it's also very plain. So I'm gonna move number six up here. I actually can't decide this round. I think we need to see a little bit more from each one of the ladies to decide who we should eliminate next. Remember, if I can sniff out Preston in this video, then he has to clean the boys' bathroom. But if I can't, then I have to do it. Time for gym class. Just kidding. We're gonna be cheerleading, and I have this bowl of random topics that I wrote out, and each student's gonna have 60 seconds to pick a topic and write a cheer about it. And on top of that, they have to do the cheer. I want a good one, I want a good one. Chick-fil-A. Ice bucket challenge? <laughs> Mocha Frap. Cardi B! She follows me on TikTok, actually. Cardi B runs with me, and she needs me. Christina, I can't think. It's how I process. Can you process something Timer's up. Okay, number one, what is your topic? Chick-fil-A. Okay, number one, please give me a cheer about Chick-fil-A. I love Chick-fil-A. Especially spicy chicken sandwich with small mac and cheese. Wow, that was really bad, number one. Thank you. My topic is the ice bucket challenge. We love ice. Ice is cool. Unless it's put all over you. Okay, number five. Please tell me what your topic is. Mocha Okay, I barely could understand that, but I gotta say, I actually really liked that one. Number six, what is your topic? Mine is Cardi B. Okay, go number six. Cardi B, bends a knee to a key because she's so much cooler. Thank you for that, number six. Okay, this is very difficult, I gotta be real. I mean, you all deserve an F, but since I can't fail the whole class, I'm just failing number three. You are expelled. Number three to the festival's office! Number three, you are so bad. I didn't even think you were Preston. I just was like, you have to get out of my school. You don't belong here. You make a cheer about the ice bucket challenge and see how it goes. Get out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm all for the girls, except when Chloe did that bad in the rap. Okay, we truly have to sniff out who Preston is because I am not cleaning the disgusting boys' bathroom. So our next class is fashion challenge, which we know Preston has no sense of fashion. Each student has five minutes to dress up their mannequin in a nice outfit, but I want them to get creative, use sewing tools and different methods to create their own fashion. Let's find Preston. On your mark, get set, so. Oh my, I got more <laughs> Oh, give me this one. Wait, what the heck is this? Oh, it's Keely's gonna love falling this. apart. My shirt lost its bottom. Oh, Riley, you give me a couple of those right me out. Can I get a raise? I'll give it to you if I can have. Give me a couple. Give more. me out. Can you believe this woman? She just tried to blackmail me. Mine's kind of cute. Oh, it is cute. I got two minutes left. Oh my gosh. Let me figure out how to sew this. Oh! Two halves, right? Two halves. You take the two halves and then let it sue. Oh, there we go. Wait, I think it sued. It did not sue. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with the safety pins, honestly. Preston, do you have pants or no? Why, why do I need pants? My girl is a free spirit. Oh, that's concerning. <laughs> do you have any oh. Keely stickers available? I can... Oh, okay, don't be a suck up now, huh? Wow. Yeah, see, it actually works. Three, it does. It does. Two, two, one. Okay, I have moved my students out of the class so I can't see them, but I can see their beautiful creations. Student number one, I do like what you have going here with the sweater. Not sure how I feel about this. The pants I really like individually, but I don't like them together. Go back to your hole. Okay, room. <laughs> number one, I'm moving you down to the not category because I just don't think that Preston would have put together that outfit. Okay, let's take a look at student number five's outfit. Wow. First of all, I like the color choice between pink and green. They're complementary colors. This is really throwing me off. However, it is kind of in style. Have you seen those like crop sweatshirts that are like, oh. Well, get your hands off her. I just, <laughs> <laughs> the crop sweatshirts are definitely in. Like that's a thing. I just don't like it. This is giving early 2000s with the knitted thumb hole. Avril Lavigne. Very yeah. Avril Lavigne. I like the pants, the shoes. Get these out of here, these are horrid. Sorry, buddy. Wait, what the frick is this in the back? Blue in the back? Student number five's outfit was trash. Definitely going high up in the sus category. Okay, contestant number six's outfit. Hmm. Out of all of the other outfits, they worked the best out of everything. Why is it ripped here? What is going on? 
a little peekaboo moment in the back. I like the glasses. The glasses are a good touch. You know what, they, they stepped up their game with this one. I am gonna move them down to the bottom of the maybe category. Student number five, please come to the principal's office. Finally a pop. This is your fault, Christina. Please be Preston, please be Preston, please be Preston, please be Preston. Already! Yeah, it was bad. Okay, all I'm saying is this Saturday when I see you for White Elephant Christmas. No, wait, 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 no! No, 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 wait! <laughs> These get tricky when you have family and videos. Okay, ladies, we are down to our final two students, and we are gonna play a game of girly trivia to sniff out who is Preston. Students, are you ready for your final pop quiz? Yay! Yes. Question number one. What is this item used for? Now, this was a big trend on TikTok over the past year of asking your husbands or boyfriends what this item is, and most of them couldn't answer. Curling eyelashes. What did number one say? Curling eyelashes. I'm putting both of you guys in the maybe category. The next question is, what color do you wear on Wednesdays? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Okay, what did number six say? Black. Very, very interesting number six. That's a nice for me. The correct answer is on Wednesdays we wear pink. It is a famous quote from the movie Mean Girls. On Wednesdays we wear pink. Question number three. What is the name of Taylor Swift's first album? Swift Dreamer. And this is number one? Yes. No, no. Taylor's, this is number one. Taylor Swift's first album was the self-titled debut album, Taylor Swift. Correct, number one. That just means she's a Swiftie. Yeah, well, most girls are Swifties, number six. Okay, question number four. What is this item called? It's a bundle bar. Number one said that? Yes. Number six said that. What did number one say? Beauty blender. Thank you. That is the correct answer, number one. Question number five. Name a 2000s rom-com movie starring our queen, Anne Hathaway. Just one? Yeah, just one. I'm gonna be like 20. Number six is cheating. No cheating or you're getting expelled. I wrote down Princess Diaries. What did number one write? Double Rose Prada, Princess Diaries one and two. Three answers and number six gave me one answer. Question number six. What are these kind of heels called? Stilettos. Did both of you guys answer that? We both did write stilettos. Thank you both number one and number six. I've heard enough and I will now grade your test score. <sighs> okay guys, here's the thing. Number six, I'm pretty sure is Preston. Number one, I'm pretty sure is a girl. But I can't really tell because he did answer correctly on Princess Diaries and he answered correctly about stilettos. However, across the board, number one has not had the best scores, but I have to make a choice. And I have to either clean the bathroom or I find Preston. Okay, students, I have both of you guys behind me. I don't know who is who, but I do have a piece of evidence that made me realize who Preston is. The student actually outed themselves. I didn't even have to figure it out because I just checked my Instagram stories and I found this lovely photo of Preston. No number is to be shown in the photo, but there is something interesting about it. Preston is wearing blue eyeshadow. <clears throat> and the only mannequin head wearing blue eyeshadow was number six. So I think Preston, you're number it was, it was all set up, huh? Preston, you know what this means? Immediate, immediate expulsion. Alongside your beautiful makeup looks and your underwear being out, you get to go clean the boys' bathroom! Oh, guys, what yeah! the heck?